So welcome to the playlist on statistics. This is a continuation video on finding median. This time we are going to find the median for a group data. So in the previous video we found the median for a ungrouped data or a discrete series. In case you haven't watched the previous video, you can click on this red box on the screen and it will take you to that video. So with no further ado, let's begin. Uh, let me just get a question on the board. So if you look at this frequency distribution, this is what a group data looks like. And how do we know that? So if you look at the column marks obtained, here the value is given in a class interval. Or in other word, it's called a group data. So you can imagine both these columns as xi and fi. And the column number of students is nothing but the frequency. So it's no different, it's just the name of the column is changed, otherwise it is the same. Now let me just directly give you the formula for the median. So for a group data, the median formula is L1 plus L2 minus L1 divided by F into N by 2 minus C. Now this looks like a big formula, right? Let me just break it down and make you understand every single element of it. So let's go from back. C stands for cumulative frequency. L1 stands for lower limit. L2 stands for upper limit. And I'll tell you about the n by 2 as we go ahead. So the first thing to notice is cumulative frequency. So we have a C in the formula. Therefore, we need to find cumulative frequency. So there is a video in this playlist which tells you about how to find the cumulative frequency. If you haven't watched it, please do so. So let's create a new column called cumulative frequency. So the first value under cumulative frequency is going to be a direct takeaway from the frequency column. That is, it's going to be 6. And then going forward, you have to, you have to add the present frequency value with, with its predecessor. So it's going to be 6 plus 7, that is equal to 13. After that, it's 22. Then it's 30. And finally, it is 40. So there you go, we have found the entire cumulative frequency. Now let's find the value of n. So if you remember from previous videos, n is equal to summation of f. So f is the frequency column, so here it is the number of student. And we have to find the summation of it, meaning we have to add the complete value in that column. So it's going to be 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus 8 plus 10. And that is equal to 40. So if it is an even value, we will divide it by 2. And if it is an odd value, we will do n plus 1 by 2. So 40 is an even number, therefore n by 2 is equal to 20. So the value of n, which is 20, it lies in between 13 and 22 in the cumulative frequency column. So let me just underline the area so that you can see where 20 lies. And 20 is much closer to 22. Therefore the median class for this frequency distribution is 25 to 30. Let me put a white dot next to it. So we have the value of L1 which is the lower limit that is 25 and the upper limit L2 is 30 and the cumulative frequency is 22 and the value of frequency that is F is equal to 9. Because we are taking the entire row therefore all the value is going to replace all these alphabets in this formula. Now all we need to do is we have to replace all these values into the original formula. So let me just quickly write down the formula for you. So it's going to be 25 plus 30 minus 25 by 9 into 20 minus 22. And that's going to give us 25. So the median for the following frequency distribution table is 25. So I hope you follow through all the steps in this video. In case you are stuck somewhere, I recommend that you watch this video again and everything is going to be crystal clear. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.